Casator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so... Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Good work defensively by Muhammad Ali. Plus, he landed that counterpunch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Firing off the uppercuts, great exchange. Ali's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Joe Frazier. I think you can just sense right away that strategy is going to be key here. This isn't going to be some wild type draw. This is going to be a very technical, strategic type fight. Absolutely, Joe. Each guy waiting for the other one to make the first mistake. Turns over that hook upstairs. Halfway through this round here. Protecting his head well with his guard. Nelly ties up there. Muhammad Ali can be so elusive, but Teddy, when he has been hit by power, he's got a great chin. Yeah, that's the problem that's discouraging. First of all, the first thing is the speed, the elusive ability. How do you catch him clean? And then, as you just said, you finally catch him, and it's like hitting something that doesn't give, something that absorbs greatly. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Frazier's left, working well that time. A little head hunting right back to it. Last 10 seconds of this first round. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. As soon as you feel ropes, move on. Breathe it. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Round two is underway. Ali's got that look to him like he's ready to fire off, and that time between rounds served him well. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Both again. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Trying to cut down that tree one shot at a time. Scored well with the left downstairs. Keep moving, keep moving. That's a nice right hand that time by Muhammad Ali. And now he's targeting upstairs. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Ali's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Frazier's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Muhammad Ali. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Stay away from the inside. Very accurate with the overhand right. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Joe Frazier. Ali's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. That's a really fine-looking uppercut by Ali. Frazier's right hand scores well that time. Round is over. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. I just can't get over the lack of defense here. It's as if he wasn't taught any in the gym. Well, see, that's the key. And I can tell you he wasn't because... Those are things that you have to be taught before you get to the event. Either you know it or you don't know it. He doesn't know it. He's not learning it now. Very accurate two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Ali's not skipping a beat. 
He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thick and man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. A crushing two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Scores up top with a left. Frazier's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Ali's on the receiving end of a hook. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Ali's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Not well targeted by Joe Frazier. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. There's that overhand right. Get to it, right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Muhammad Ali. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two. Ali's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Nice combination by Muhammad Ali. And this round comes to an end. So three rounds are in the books here. Ali's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Punch stats don't always tell the story, but in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off him, just to keep him defensive. Does that hurt him as the fight goes on? Unable to score with the hook. And what a clever combination by Muhammad Ali. What would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Today? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Muhammad Ali is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. A target on his head and he places the hook right on it. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Hits him in the mug with the right. He comes right back at him with the left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. And now he's targeting upstairs. How about that exchange? Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Each man able to land an uppercut. You're taking too many punches. Hand up. A little head hunting with the right. Frazier's been hurt. Oh, and there you go. What a nice job by Frazier's opponent that time. Getting right into the kitchen against Joe Frazier and smoking him. Smoking Joe Frazier. You know he's going to try to respond here as Frazier gets back up after the knockdown. Got that? It's going to happen. You're going to catch it. You're going to catch it. Round number five has arrived. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Eddie, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. The fight is over. Joe Frazier.
Rogers' night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, no winner, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Muhammad Ali is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's going to be easier to sell now to television. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.